morning, Tigers. Welcome to the third trimester. Crazy to think that we're two-thirds of the way through the school year. I'm Jenna, reporting about upcoming opportunities and events, as well as reminding all of you about the spring break. That's a few weeks away. Isn't that awesome, Michelle? It sure is, Jenna. My name is Michelle, and this TNN is the last one to be made by our winter trimester production team. Soon, a fresh new cohort of producers will be seen on TNN. Man, time flies when you're having fun. I completely agree, Michelle. I'm Johnny, reminding you that spring sports have officially begun. I cannot wait for the fun games and tournaments that will be happening. Now, all good things must come to an end. So for the last time, for our trimester two team, we'll be bringing you the news and the announcements you need to know. Seniors, your book is working hard to make this the best yearbook yet, and in order to do that, they need your help. Head over to the Senior Google Classroom to find the Senior Yearbook form. Answer some questions about your future plans and some past Tiger memories. The Estrella Warbirds Museum Youth Aviation Club will have its fourth annu annual career day for all high school and middle school students who are interested in an aviation career on Saturday, March 16th, beginning at 10 a.m. at the museum. In the past, the Youth Aviation Club has taken field trips to Lemoor Naval Air Station, ACL Jet Center, the San Luis Obispo Air Traffic Control S Tower, and the Paso Robles slash Cal Fire Air Attack Base. Register at ewnyouthaviationgmail at gmail.com before Monday, March 11, 2024. Tigers, time to get excited for the grand opening of the Wellness Center, which is today. Listen to our very own producers, Michelle and uh, Johnny, no, Parker, give you some <laughs> behind the scenes information. With incredible news, the opening of Slow High School's first wellness center is just around the corner. So here's what's up with a new and improved project that plans to make your high school experience better. Uh, my name is Austin Miller and I'm the new SEL counselor is the title. And uh, my primary task is really to help um, make sure the wellness center is operating. The wellness center is part of Slow High School's wellness program for the betterment of student mental health. With the ability to provide a comforting space for students and we'll be offering mental health resources, group counseling, or one-on-one -on -one counseling depending on what's best for each student. You might remember the new Slow HS SCL counselor Mr. Miller from his time as gratitude during the gratitude challenge week earlier in the school year or even through the suicide awareness and prevention week put on even earlier this year. But did you know that he also plays a crucial part in building and running the upcoming wellness center? The Wellness Center is open to all students. The, the way that students can access the, the Wellness Center is first through their alphabetical counselor, their comprehensive counselor. And then if the comprehensive counselor thinks, you know, the Wellness Center might be a good fit, then they will make a referral our way and we'll connect with that student. Jointly, Counselor Amanda Greenfield, a member of the wellness team with Mr. Miller, aims to reduce stigma about mental health through offering the Wellness Center as a resource and allowing students struggling with their mental health and substance abuse a place to work through their concerns. My job at the schools, I'm a mental health therapist. I actually work for the county, but I am only at Slow High. I think it gives students a little bit more privacy when they're communicating with me. Um, and I'm here to support Mr. Miller, who's also with the Wellness Center. Uh, part of my job is to support students with problems with drugs and alcohol. Um, so I think it'd be really cool if more kids who were looking for support knew that it was available on campus. Students wouldn't get in trouble if they're seeking support. Um, so I think that's my biggest goal in addition to just normalizing, talking about mental health. Because Everyone has mental health. Is it? positive, is it negative, is it how, how we interact with that I think is really important. Now here's Johnny with your Spring Tiger Sports. It's the beginning of trimester three, but spring sports are already up and running. Boys golf has a mini match at Rebrancho Maria today at 11 with some luck. Boys varsity tennis has a home game today at 3.30. Tigers softball, z zero and three right now, but after this week, we are hoping for a two and three going into league. Varsity softball has an away game today against Paso, and JV has a home game against Paso at 4.30. Stunt has a meet tomorrow at four and six in the Pomo. Girls Beach Volleyball has a game against Santa Ynez at four tomorrow, as well as a baseball game against Mission at 6 tomorrow. Good job to our boys baseball team with an amazing stats of two wins and three losses. 
Softball also has a home game against Coastal Christian, Christian on Thursday at 4.30. Fingers crossed to on that game. Boys Volleyball has a game on Thursday against Merle Bay in Merle Bay at 5. Continues swinging those bats and spiking those balls <laughs> through, t- <laughs> through trimester 3 Tigers. The TNN studio wishes you the best luck. Now back to Michelle and Jenna with lunch and U.S. history. For lunch today, we will be having cheese crust on whole wheat, pe- on whole wheat crust, pepperoni pizza, chicken pesto box, hummus box with house-made pita chips, and the local cheese box with Cal Poly cheese. Pizza on the first day of the trimester? What a great healthy start! And on this day in U.S. history, the highlighted person of Women's History Month is Margaret uh, Hayfields. Margaret Hayfield was the director of the software engineering for NASA's Apollo space program. She wrote the mathematical sequence that enabled the Apollo mission to be successful, and it was so good. And she was so good at what she did, NASA would have her double-check equations done by the computers. Good job, women. That's all for today, Tigers. This is the second trimester team's last production of TNN. We would like to recognize each of our members' unique talents in technology, writing, public speaking, filmmaking, and so much more. With that, your second trimester TNN production crew is signing off.